Good evening, everyone. And how was your day today? I trust as always that you were able to find some reflection time and some Thanksgiving and praise time, and that you looked at all the blessings of God in your life, and you truly are grateful. Tonight's prayer is for God to remind us that we are special to him and that we belong to him. Our text is from Isaiah 43, verses 1 and 2, and it says, But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are one. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are indeed grateful to you this night because you have been once more merciful and kind to us. You've protected us, you've provided for our needs, you have seen us through many difficulties, you have guided our steps and saved us from so many things. We are indeed thankful to you, God, for how you have been to us. As we come tonight, God, we pour out ourselves before you and we ask that you will forgive us of our sins, that you will cleanse us, that you will blot out our transgressions, cover us with the blood of Jesus and the righteousness of Christ. We cannot stand before your throne, God, but as we come, we know that Jesus is standing in our place and thus we are able to come through him to you. So God, we give you thanks. Tonight, I especially want to remember those who are feeling less than or are feeling not as great as they should feel, who have forgotten who their true, what their true identity is and who they belong to. I lift them up before you, God. Your word says that you died for us. You created us so we belong to you. We were stolen by the devil. And then you came and you gave your life so that we could return to you. You bought us again by your precious blood. God, I pray that tonight you will remind somebody how much they are worth. I pray that those who are feeling down in spirit and as though their life is not worth it and they are just hanging in by a thread, I pray that you remind them that you are right by their side, just waiting for them to ask for your help. I pray that you remind them that your precious blood was shed, so their life is worth so much more than they're thinking. I pray that you remind them of this scripture that says, you have called us by our name and we belong to you. I thank you, God, for reminding us, every one of us, regardless of how we feel about ourselves, that the truth is, whether or not we think we're great or whether or not we think we're worthy, because of the blood of Christ, we have become worthy. I pray that you will help us to live in this truth and believe in this truth and accept this truth and live lives of victory and overcoming lives. I praise you, God, for your faithfulness to us. I praise you for your grace, your mercies, and your blessings. And I thank you, God, for encouraging us in you for helping us to be humble enough to accept the reality is that we are nothing and we are truly helpless without you. But because of your sacrifice and because of your love, God, we can become great men and women for you. So I praise you, God, for wrapping your arms around your children who feel let down right now and for reminding them of how precious their lives are to you. And I thank you, God, for encouraging them and for building their faith and confidence in you and for holding their heads up high. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything you do for us and you continue to do. In your precious name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Have a lovely night, everyone.